What's going on guys? Welcome back for more Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. This is hopefully going to be the very last recording session. In the last episode, we took care of the Tower of Volney and completed it 100%, I think. This episode, we're heading over to the Lagdow Ruins. However, first off, there's a couple things I have to do first. I did edit all my items and made sure I had everything I needed to have. There's a couple things I want to buy at these secret shops. However, there are two monsters blocking both paths to get there. So we'll just have to run to the battle and then run away right afterward. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. And on a side note, after we see the Nerube River thing flash up, you will see something kind of interesting. You can now play as Ismair. Ismair was, as you may remember, Joshua's mother. And she's right here. She comes with some pretty nice stuff, such as a sham shear and a wind sword. However, she also comes with a master seal, which is pretty okay. And as for Ismair, I'd probably rate her a 5 out of 10 since I'm not putting up the things on the screen anymore where I rate them. I'd just say 5 out of 10. She has some nice, decent skill. I mean, she's definitely, like, fit to be a sword master. She isn't, like, deprivated by really low strength. However, her gross aren't that great, and she does start out kind of weak. Resistance is awesome, however. I don't know why it's so high. But, uh, yeah, nothing too special. Her luck isn't that great, though, but I guess that kind of does make sense. She was kind of, you know, killed, so I guess she wasn't that lucky. But, that's some free stuff right there that we can hand out to everyone else. So, let's see, who deserves that? I guess I'll give Erica the Shamshir, and, uh, Jeshra's already got the other wind sword I found, so... <clears throat> the other one will go to... Actually, what, what does it take to hold that wind sword? B. Well, me is pretty close. Once she finishes up this Lance Reaper, she should pretty much have a B in swords. And off screen, I did buy quite a couple uh, Brave Swords. So that would actually work out. Alright then, let's just start this up. Hey, look, it's this place again. Bye. Creature Campaign. Alright then. Core. Actually, no, I don't even really need to buy anything. I just wanted to get some swords ready. But right now. I think it's about time that we head over and take on the Lagdo Ruins. I have no idea how long this is, I don't even remember anymore, but let's see. Lagdo Ruins 1. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you get a lot more units than you did for the Tower of Volney to use when you go here. Or you get the exact same amount, well that's just fantastic. Alright, the first level, there isn't much. I guess the way it assumes, like, you start outside of the Lagdow Ruins and you have to go inside the Lagdow Ruins. I guess that's what it's kind of going for. But anyway, this is where the game really starts to pick up. This is the challenge of the game, I'd have to say. Their weapons still aren't that great. However, they're high enough level where they will be major annoyances. And holy shit, that guy has a Brave Bow? What the hell? That guy has a spear. I forgot, they do drop some cool stuff here, so make sure you check your units before you kill them, in case you want to get some cool stuff. But anyway, let's get set up here. Ross is going to have to come, that's pretty much a given. Let's throw in Erica and Ephraim for fun. Amelia, I want to get that bean swords. Natasha will help heal. Joshua can help. Uh, Renak, there's no treasure chest, so he doesn't have to come. Iwan, I'll throw you in there, and I guess loot. Why not? This will be my team. I will swap it up pretty much after every single chapter so it won't get boring or stale, but whatever. Alright. Uh, Erica and Ephraim head over this way. Ross will take care of that. I mean, it will help. Uh, and that should be pretty much good. And I forgot, I can't say it, so I'll just use safe dates. Woohoo! I feel like a cheater already. Let's go! Kicking it right off. Uh, Cyclinde, you better save those weapons, I guess, for like the final floors, I'd recommend. And the Brave Sword pretty much did all the work for me. Yes, I bought like five of those things. So, I'm pretty much set with all my sword users. I guess what I figured is, I have so many goddamn sword users, I might as well start throwing out the more sword purchases, so... Yeah, that's what's going on with that. As for this wall, it has 50 HP. With one swing of the garm, uh, we'll also be able to take it down. Should I do that, however? I think I should just stick with uh, the wind sword and everything else. Boom. 
Uh, and then Luke can... Actually, no, Natasha can pull in. I also bought a lot of purges because Natasha's really going to help in this place. If there's something really annoying that comes along, like a really powerful freaking monster, Natasha can really help with her purge staff and her extra damage against monsters. So, or not purge staff, I mean light magic purge. Whatever. So here's what I figure. I'm going to get in as far as I can before I start like fast forwarding because this is just going to get really boring to watch. But whatever. Ross has pretty much got this under wraps. He could handle a good bit of this stuff. The only thing he'd have a lot of problem against is those damn monsters. Or the... Not the damn monsters. Uh, the freaking uh, magic users. Kind of like the Moggles and the rest of them. Especially those stupid... Whatchamacallit. Uh, the Medusa things. Iron Sword. Wow. Three. And he missed. He, he missed. The three damage. Alright, let's see what's gonna... Ooh. These things have pathetic attack, I gotta say. They have nice defense and a lot of HP. However, their attack leaves a lot to be desired. You can do three damage to a general. Come on. With an... A I know it's a general, but still. You could have done more. Whatever. It's just the fact that they have incredibly weak and pathetic weapons on the battlefield right now. Damn, that was a nice hit. Straight shot, killed him in one shot. Four damage. Well, I guess it's an iron sword, so that makes sense. Iwan doesn't have a lot of defense, I just gotta say. But he has a lot of avoid, so it doesn't even matter. Is it me, or is this damage always equal as critical at the same time? I don't understand why that is. Whatever. Nope. Glad that missed. I would have done like 15 damage in total with all the stupid sappy poison. Oh shit, I should have bought a restore staff. That probably would have helped a lot if I had bought a restore staff before coming in here. Oh well. I'll live, I guess. I mean, I don't really care about losing any of my units at this point. <laughs> it would be nice to keep them all, but honestly, I'm not really that big of a complainer when it comes to losing units. The only ones I care about are the two lords, because I have to keep those bastards, and Ross. That's really all I care about at this point. I mean, we already got all the happy endings, so who the hell cares if Ewan or Amelia dies? Oh shit, 22 freaking damage. That is some powerful shit right there. Why the hell does he have green eyeballs? I don't get that. Just like a green pus gash. Kind of gross. Oh well then. Is it me or is this, like, Luke, whenever she attacks, it looks like she has a broken arm. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but like, the way she holds her arm out, it looks like her arm is twisted around backwards. It's kind of disgusting. Okay, thank you for that, Mr. Longbow. Alrighty then, let's continue. Ross can pretty much handle all up here, and they got Worm Slayers, so I'll stick with the Silver Axe, I guess. Nice job, Ross. I will also throw Amelia over here with her Javelin, and she should help out over there. Nice. Way to save those javelin uses. I really care about that javelin breaking. Oh boy. And she got a killer edge. Awesome. Kick ass. What else could I get over here? A hundred bag of gold, javelin, sharp claw. There's that guy with a spear. As long as I stay out of his range and just run up and attack him really quickly, I can get that spear. However, if I don't, he'll just run up with the spear anyway, and then you'll get an iron sword, which you don't want. So you gotta be careful about that. Alright, that guy has a battle axe and a longbow. He'll go for the long range, so that means I will get a battle axe, which is pretty damn good. And Ross can wield it too, so... And as long as I'm careful with this guy, I won't get the shitty ass devil axe and I'll get the brave bow. However, I have to make sure I'm careful with that. In fact, I don't even know how the hell I'm gonna do that. Cause he moves eight spaces, shit. Uh, how long, how much do you, yeah, he only moves seven. Crap. Well, uh... Oh, you know what I could do? I could put one of these guys... Oh, wait, no, it's a long... No, a brave bow. I could put Ewan there. 
so he can attack close range. He'd go for the Devil's Axe, probably, instead of going for the Brave Bow, because the Devil Axe can do more damage. However, I'm uncertain if that is plausible, but we'll see. Not sure why I'm really that worried about getting the special weapons. I mean, they would help, but they're not necessary. I guess a Brave Bow would be pretty damn awesome, though. I will admit. Alright, Ewan, you can go with... Uh, I should go with Gleitner. Oh god, this animation takes so long. It looks cool though, I will give it that. I guess I do have a lot more patience. Like, my patience has been uh, regenerated since last time, where I was just fighting the same freaking 30 monsters with iron swords over and over and over and over and over again. But. Oh, wait a minute! Purge! Perfect! I can take care of the monsters from a long distance. Awesome. Alright, where's that spear guy? He's going down! Take this, you son of a bitch! Boom! That's a good way, actually, to get the free items. Just use the purge! Awesome! I can use that on the Malduin, also. Well, there's your spear. Uh, what else was I gonna get? Uh... The Brave Bow and the Battle Axe, right? Except for the Battle Axe, I'm going to have to have him attack first. There's a Brave Bow. Anything else on the battlefield I have to look out for? No, that looks about it. Unless I want to steal a Javelin instead of a Steel Lance. Although, I don't really care about that guy. Alright. Go with uh, Shamshir, I guess. Why? I don't know. Just champs here. Now charge up with the silver lights. Boom! God, I love that attack animation. Hey. You got a little extra speed. However, his speed is generally going to be kind of low because the cap is kind of stupid for his speed. I don't know why it is, but it pretty much just caps at 24. It's kind of dumb. It's a little like Hector, how his caps are pretty stupid, just limiting his awesomeness by caps. His gross would help him get pretty damn high speed. It's just... I don't know. Gross kind of limit him. Same with Hector. Yeah, that doesn't help the fact. That doesn't stop the fact that they're pretty damn awesome, both of them. All and another level up. Aw, almost a complete level up. Whatever, I don't really care about resistance that much. I'm not really gonna cry about it. Two percent chance to hit, doing no damage. I love the stupidity of the monsters in this game. This is the stupidity of like the AI in general. And Jesus Christ, Amelia, stop getting criticals of that javelin. They're just showing these monsters what for. I'm probably gonna get a steel lance from uh, that javelin guy. Oh, son of a bitch, stop with your longbow crap. Alright, there's an iron bow, and that hit, actually, but it had a pretty good chance of hitting, I'm not going to cry over it. Just I'll fire him and get it out of the way. Bye! I'm kind of curious why everyone in Fire Emblem seems to have an odd hairstyle that just doesn't make sense. Like, look at Ewan, he has red hair. How the hell do you get red hair outside of dyeing it? And what I'm curious is, were there hair dyes at that age, like that point in history? I guess I think I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I think Indians, like or Native Americans, whatever, just dyed their hair. I don't know for tribal purposes or something. I don't know if they actually did or not. I'm just curious if there were really, you know, dyeing your hair was a big thing back then. I don't really get it. And he attacked with Javelin, meaning I'm going to get the Steel Lance in place of that Javelin. Awesome, I'll take that. That's 30 uses. That's fine. The monsters do help regenerate your weapons for you, so you're not stuck with nothing. However, eh, I don't know. Could have been a little nicer. 
Go with the Steel Lance, I guess. It'll take two hits, but it's not wasting anything I really care about. Boom. Alright, now Erica can rush up and take care of this guy with her cycling day. Might as well use it. Why not? Looks cool. Kills him in one hit. Alright, now let's quickly have Iwan rush over. Trade. Make sure you don't waste that thing. Back to Shamshir and Gleitner again. And another critical, jeez. Does that Gleitner have a critical hit chance? I don't think it does. I think it's just a special weapon. Only a couple of the special weapons, I believe, actually come with a critical hit chance. I don't remember which ones, though. Yeah, see, this one doesn't. It comes with skill, which means it increases your chance to critical, but nothing directly influxing your chance to critical, if that makes any sense. Oh wait, shit. Uh, where's that guy with the brave bow? I have to make sure I hit him before he uses that stupid ass devil axe. Or I mean the brave bow, before he uses the devil axe. No! Before he uses the brave bow, I have to make sure he doesn't use the devil axe. Where is he? There's the longbow guy. There's a brave bow guy. Well, I'm just going to be taking that from you, if you don't mind. Am I in his range? No, I'm not. I have to be right here. There we go. Give me that brave bow, you asshat. Boom! God, I love Purge. It's a cool looking move, and it does awesome damage. And it helps you get free stuff. What could be better than that? There's the brave bow. Might as well throw that into the inventory. Wait a minute, why the hell did I care so much about getting a brave bow? There's only one person in my entire party that can use it. That's Naimi. Huh. Uh. Why not? I guess. I don't know. Hey, going back on the hair dye thing I was saying, look at Joshua. He has red hair. How on earth do you just get natural flowing red hair? And it has to be natural. His mother has the exact same hairstyle. Same with friggin' uh, Ross and his dad. Well, actually, Ross's hair looks natural. It's black. I guess that's kind of why I like Ross. As if there weren't enough reasons why I like Ross. He has natural hair. Alright, where's the other guy? Uh, he's right here, isn't he? Yeah, there's the longbow guy. He'll probably just attack with the longbow, then quickly steal that battle axe. Be uh, fine and done with it. Unless he goes after loot, in which case, then I'll get the longbow anyway. Shit. Uh, here's hoping he doesn't go for loot, instead goes for a person he can attack from a long range. Knock on wood. Let's see. Wait a minute, why am I not using the sword? I'm supposed to get a... Uh, I'm supposed to be getting Amelia up to be able to use that friggin' brave sword. And the wind sword, which would actually be pretty cool if Amelia could use both. Nice job, loot. And you almost have a level up. However, she's kind of in trouble. Well, actually, maybe not. Oh, now Ewan's gonna be in trouble. All these guys are... Well, he dodged, too. And, honestly, anything that goes up against either of them will instantly die, so... Like so. Seriously, Elon, why are you getting so many freaking criticals? I don't know. 14, oh shit, and a 70 hit chance. That was annoying. I think I've used Gleitner the most out of all the special weapons, other than Garm. But yeah, seriously, I've used Gleitner so much. Why? And that's 26 in speed, 23 in magic. That's pretty good. Okay, so that guy went for the killer bow of Joshua. So let's see if uh, that guy goes for the longbow with Joshua. Or someone else. In fact, he could just longbow loot. Because uh, loot won't be able to retaliate. So that would make sense. Let's see what he does, though. Here's open. That guy's a spear? That's unfair. Was that the guy with the... No, I already killed that guy. So he did go for the longbow. Oh, it's because she has a purge. I was gonna say, like, she can back attack. I don't know why I'd go for her, but... She has a purge. Alright, what do you have? Yeah, just a spear and a toxin lance. 
Uh, okay then. That's no big deal. Alright, well, time to take care of this guy then. Give me that! Uh, the uh, battle axe. Yeah, that's what I was going for. So Natasha single-handedly got me all three of the items I needed to get from this map. Awesome. Alright. Well, that's actually really well worked out. I'm glad that worked out. Snap my neck a bit. There we go. Oh, that's gonna come up in the recording. That'd be funny. Alright. Josh was now level 11. That was a shitty ass level up, but you kind of have to expect it when you get this late in the game and all the crap starts capping. Or, never mind, none of his stuff has capped yet. What the hell, Joshua? What the hell? Jeez. Uh, let's see. You guys don't drop anything, so I'll just rush you up with the Lance Reaper. And Ross will stay around the back with his Silver Axe. Gleipner this guy. I don't know why I'm still using Gleipner. I'm supposed to be saving them, but I don't know why I'm not saving it. I guess because Gleipner doesn't have any special bonus against the monsters for some odd-ass reason. Really is quite weird why it doesn't have anything special against the monsters. Like, everything else is a sacred tome, yet that's the only thing that doesn't get a critical against the monsters. I guess because it's a dark spell, but still. I mean, Garm gets an extra bonus against the monsters. So why doesn't that? Rather odd. Rather odd. Alright, there's only five enemies left. Thank God. This map's actually taking a while. What the hell? Get out of here, Anna. Oh, shit. 27 freaking damage? Are you kidding me? Come on. Whatever. It's the end of the chapter anyway. I'm not that butt hurt. Even though it was 27 fucking damage. Oh my god. He only had 26 chance of hitting anyway. How come all those chances, like the, the 0 and like 26% chance of hitting, they never hit? But then someone comes along with a 27 damage and 26 hit. The same thing, and yet he manages to hit. It always works out that way. It's not bad luck or anything on my part. I like to think I have decent luck, but it's just the game likes to be a bastard. Don't all games like to be a bastard, though? I don't know. Alright, rush you ahead, and I'm pretty much going to want Amelia to deal with the last of these monsters so she can get her B with swords. Let's just quickly have Natasha rush up so she can Psychic Amelia, however, and there you go. Just in case. Alrighty then. Let's see what happens. Those monsters don't move, apparently. Well, that's just friggin' awesome. Alright, Phantom, go do something. Wow, I can do like 20 damage? How come he can do... Holy shit, where'd you get 18 HP, little guy? Awesome. Wham! That only did 16, but that's probably because I was attacking the boss with Steel Blade. Wait, did these guys drop anything or no? Probably not. They're just gonna like start spawning the shit out of them. That guy's a rune sword. Oh my god. These guys are getting annoying. Alright, Lance Reaver. Take care of business every day. Taking care of business. The Amelia way. That missed. Boom! I wonder why Lance has specialness over a sword. I never quite got, like... I guess I can... Well... No, I don't really get the weapon triangle a lot. I guess it does make sense. Like, I've been educated to know that the weapon triangle makes sense, yet I still think, you know, why is there a weapon triangle? Why would a why would an axe generally do better than a spear? Why would a spear generally do better than a sword? I guess I kind of get that one because of the distance thing. But then wouldn't a spear also have, like, an ability over axes because spears are longer range than axes? I don't know. Maybe because axes have a lot of, like, blade length, so you kind of have to think, well, if there's all that blade length, maybe the axe can easily break it where the sword can't, or something like that. But then why would a sword have anything over an axe? Because the axe is heavy? Is that the reason? I don't know. Just trying to think, like, what the reason for that crap would be. Doesn't really matter to- Oh my fucking god, stop spawning shit! And the thing is, these guys don't move, so, you know, 
That's just awesome. Get out of the way. I'm coming through here. Hey. Is that level 12? That's level 14. Never mind. Amelia's zooming past my knowledge. And she has pretty damn even stats, I have to say. So she's doing good for herself. Uh, Lightmare would instantly kill him. But I'll just go for the flux. Critical anyway, so whatever. What the hell was that noise? I don't know. Always weird noises going on in the background. Especially when I start recording, I just start noticing that stuff. It was like a noise. It's kind of odd. Alright, Purge. Let's just kill that boss, because I don't feel like dealing with his ass. Don't worry, I got like 13 other purges in reserve. Or three. So I have like 15 uses of purge in reserve. But it doesn't matter if I'm wasting this one. When's she gonna get an A in light magic? I'd like to know that. Oh, she already does. Never mind. <laughs> Looks like I haven't been paying attention again. Alright then. Might as well rush loop forward. Do you have an A or C? Yeah, you do. I could also give her light magic. I mean, if I train her up enough, she could use purge. There wouldn't be much of a point, but I could. Actually, you know what? It would be kind of smart to give her light magic. In fact, it'd be pretty damn smart if I gave her light magic. I don't think I have any shines in reserve, though. Wow, 0% chance to hit. It does so much freaking damage. Those spiders, man. They do a lot of damage. They also have a lot of HP, too. I'd have to say spiders are probably one of the hardest monsters you have to fight. Next to the Medusas. But, yeah. I don't know. Uh, why don't we show off the Wind Sword? Oh, shit. It's not gonna kill him, though. Eh. Well, I could show at least what it does. Here's what it does. Boom. It's actually a pretty cool thing. From a distance, it doesn't do a lot of damage, and it doesn't have a critical. However, close up, it does do a lot of good damage, I've noticed, so... It's a pretty good weapon, I'd have to say. And that's a level up. What is that now, 13? Yep. She has a lot of magic and speed, I have to say. I wonder if she's actually going to cap, like, magic. It makes sense if she did. Wow. That was, let's see, 129, I believe? Why did I have to sa snap my neck so much? Jeez. Ross, are you level 20? Oh my god, this is going to be it, guys. This is level 20 for Ross. I think it should be a critical kill, don't you think, Ross? Yep. Boom! That was a solid 105 damage, and now Ross is level 20. I'll take it. His stats are pretty much broken anyway. He has cap strength and skill. His speed is ridiculous. With the Garm, it's even worse. His luck just breaks shit. His defense is awesome, and his resistance doesn't even make any sense at all. But that's probably because they gave him so many freaking talismans. Armed with the fact that he can wield any axe, with the exception, I believe, of the hammer. He's pretty good, I'd have to say. Actually, you know, let me check. Can he wield the hammer? I'm kind of curious. Do I have a hammer? Yeah, I do. He can. He can wield the hammer. So he can wield every single weapon that his class can wield in the game. That is pretty freaking awesome. Alright, Amelia. Let's, uh... Bump up your sword skill, I guess, with this Lance Reaper. And this has been the end of Lagda Ruins Part 1. Jesus, God, that took a while. I'll be right back.